Did you know brain scans are the number one test ordered by neurologists? Today, I'm going to be explaining the various types of brain scans that can be administered to identify problems related to the central nervous system. First off, electroencephalography, EEGs, shown in this picture, are used to understand brain activity in various psychological states. This procedure is very useful in, in identifying seizures or other problems that may be caused as a result of too much or too little activity in parts of the brain. As you can see here, this is what an EEG looks like. Next up, we have PET scans, shown here. This test measures the level of glucose in the brain to observe where neural firing is occurring. This is possible because active neurons use glucose as fuel in our brain. Here is how neurons fire. MRIs, magnetic resonance imaging, are another form of brain scans that create an image of the brain structure. As you can see, this is what a machine looks like. Thus, they can prove to be very useful in identifying if various parts of the brain are anatomically normal. Lastly, an fMRI is a more specific MRI that can measure the structure and the activity of the brain. They measure the blood flow and can tell us when things happen in the brain. Here's how blood's flowing through our brains. These tests are very useful in identifying psychological phenomena. To sum it up, EEG scans identify brain activity, PET scans demonstrate glucose usage, MRIs show brain structure, and fMRIs show the more specific brain structure. Thank you for listening.